Okay, so in this example, what we are going to do is we're going to estimate a regression model uh, in Stata. And what we're going to do is look at the coefficients of those. So what we're going to look at is we're going to take the data from sheet two of introduction to econometrics student sheet. And we're going to run a regression model on the variables on employment rate and inflation rate. And we got it going from 1995 to 2008. So first of all, to recap, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to import this data. So we can use the command import uh, Excel, um, introduction to econometrics student sheet. Uh, but this time we want to take it from sheet two. So that's what we are going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this command. And what we can see is we've now imported the data. Looking at the data here, we've got the time period, we've got unemployment and we've got inflation after being loaded in. Now, once this data has been loaded in, we're going to run a regression model using our variables. Um, but remember, as we go along, we're going to want to copy and paste our commands into the do file as we go. So for instance, the first command was to import the data. The second command is going to be run our regression. Now we can actually type our commands directly into the do file if we want, or into the command window, whichever one we want to do. So I'm going to actually type them directly into the do file here. So the command to run an OLS regression model is to simply use the command regress, okay? And then the variables we have are unemployment rate. Making sure you pay attention to where capitals are. So we have a capital U and a capital R, and then we have a capital I. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to click execute. And so when we run this, we get the regression model output here. Now we're going to be breaking down the various different components of this at a later date in terms of the key things we're going to focus on are going to be the F test and the P value associated with that. We're going to be focusing on the R squared, the T values and the P values associated with that, and then the coefficient values. So we'll break all of them down at different points in time. We're just going to start by looking at the coefficients and ignoring the other elements. Normally we would work through the F test first, then the R squared, then the T test, and then you would come to the coefficient. But just to give an introduction here, we're going to talk about the coefficient. And the coefficient here is the relationship between inflation and unemployment. And it shows for a one unit increase in inflation, the change in unemployment rate. So as the inflation rate goes up one, the unemployment rate falls by 1.32, okay, units. So the unemployment rate is measured in a percentage. So a 1% increase in the inflation rate causes the unemployment rate to fall by 1.32 percentage points. Okay, now, what does that mean? We can see the unemployment rate here is 12, 11, 10, and so on. So when we see inflation increase by one unit or one point from, we'll say 1.17, if it was to go to 2.17, we would expect to see when the inflation rate increases, the unemployment rate dropped by a value of minus 1.32. So it would fall from, for example, 12 to 10.7 roughly. So that's how we interpret the coefficient in this model. The constant term then shows the value of unemployment when inflation is zero. So if we had a zero inflation rate, unemployment rate would stand at 10.69%. So that's the interpretation of the coefficients. Now, these are interpreted in units as we've entered them in those units. Um, so we could log these variables or log certain variables. And if we logged variables, we're talking about elasticities. And that's a different discussion. Um, so we'll be talking about different types of model specifications at different points and different functional forms of variables, which will impact how we interpret them.